Rican Day parade and you know celebration. So since you be in the house, you gotta take care of yourself. I, I just don't want you getting sick. You gotta take care of yourself, Louis. You all right? That we need to work together. That we need to build our communities together. And that law enforcement should. Be uh, what happened in the last two weeks absolutely has motivated me. We implore you, please take a knee in solidarity with us. Real talk. I respect your right to protest. All I'm asking for y'all to do it in peace. I kneel with y'all because I don't, I don't agree with what happened. And I, 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 listen, y'all are all my brothers and sisters. I understand that uh, the communities are fed up and like I said, there's a lot of distrust and we need to start healing. The reason I took a knee was to start bringing about peace and unity and healing between members of, of the police department and members of the community. You see families out here, you see, you know, businesses, people going to school. It can be 20 degrees outside, they have their fan down the And there's the one guy there, he, he... You know, being a black man, being a police officer, and which I'm proud of being both, very proud. I understand where the community's coming from, the, the black community, when you just look at historically, the things that our, our communities have gone through in terms of race, in terms of, you know, having resources made, you know, made available to the communities. Me personally, there are things, a lot of things that the police department can push over to other, push over to other agencies and should push over to other agencies. And if they take away certain responsibilities that we don't have to do anymore and they're going to fund another agency to do that, then me personally, I'm not against it, all right? We're not perfect, all right? Our department is not perfect. Our communities are not perfect. A lot of our systems are not perfect. And we have to figure out ways to make them better. I think we just need to increase our positive contacts where, you know, young men, young black men, people of, you know, or of all communities can feel safe with their police department. And I think that's the biggest, biggest challenge for the police department going forward.